Hello and welcome to PNB MetLife JBC Bootcamp. The stroke now that we are going to talk is what is everybody's favorite, the smash. Yes, I know everybody likes the stroke because badminton people feel is only about smash. But there are variations of smash. One is a smash, a full body smash, and one is something that's called a half smash. We are going to learn more about it only with Olympian and Arjun Awardi, my friend Anup Shridhar. Welcome, Anup. Thank you. Now with badminton that's become an explosive and aggressive game, everybody likes to hit only smash. What is a smash and how can you play that? And also smash has a combination of a half and a full smash. But right now we want to know that how good can one hit a full smash? So you're absolutely right. Badminton has become a very aggressive game. It is far, far more dynamic and explosive than it used to be before. So there are uh, a lot of players who, who, who focus only on attack and in specifically in, uh, you know, on the big smash and also the half smash. The major point of difference between the two is you would use more of your wrist and forearm for a half smash. And for the, uh, for the smash, you would use your entire arm, shoulder and even put your entire body weight behind the, uh, behind the shuttle when you hit a full smash. So like, like, we just, uh, uh, like, like you just mentioned, uh, you know, since badminton is so aggressive, it's become such a physical sport. All players have very, very competent uh, defensive play nowadays. So it has become harder and harder to hit through and smash through an opponent's defense. This is why you see players becoming stronger, faster, racket technology improving. And this is why you see smashes in, ex in excess of 400 kilometers per hour. And uh, I, I don't see signs of this slowing down. I, I think it's only going it's to get going to harder up. and harder. Yeah. And uh, yes, and, and actually it was one of my favorite strokes yeah. uh, also. Yes, also and it was your favorite suit because you're tall, you have that perfect reach. Everybody loves, in fact we love in the commentary box when you're sitting, the sound of the connect of the shuttle and the racket and it's boom. What is the technique behind that perfect connect and the way the shuttle goes down? So the first and most important thing is to be under and behind the shuttle. You have to be under the shuttle and you also have to contact it from directly behind it. So it's no good if you're playing the shuttle, uh, you know, if you're going to hit a smash from the side or from behind you because you can't get uh, the right angle, you can't get the body weight behind the shuttle. So it's extremely important to be in perfect position uh, and that's the absolute most important thing. And for that, you have to make sure you're choosing the right stroke at the right time. If your opponent has played a good lift or a good clear all the way to the back of the court, it's typically not, not the right time to hit a smash. Full smash. Correct. You find a way to get a, a spin at the net or a dribble at the net where you get a mid-court or a half-court lift. That's when you get under the shuttle, jump up as high as you can and just put your entire body, body weight behind the shuttle. What I try to, to do and what I try to teach my students is that it's okay even to aim six inches inside the line. It, it isn't that important to go for the line always because I believe consistency is even more important than accuracy. Because even if you hit two, three really accurate smashes on the line, if you make two, three errors after that, it, yeah, it almost it comes to naught. So it's extremely important to be consistent also. And also with the nature of the shuttle that is, it turns slightly out, also the drift on the court. Absolutely. So it's always better to aim inside so that it falls on the line at times. Absolutely. I mean, and, and we're only talking a few inches inside the line, which gives you a little bit of margin of error. So I really believe that it's, it's very important to be consistent. Yeah. So why not get a quick demonstration of what a big smash is and what a half smash is? From sure. Me? I will now demonstrate both the half smash and the full smash. Please keep in mind, like I mentioned, the most important thing is to be under and below the shuttle. Another very important thing is to make sure you contact the shuttle at the highest possible point. Now you know all about smashes. There are two types of smashes. There's a full smash and there's a half smash. So the basic things for a full smash is that the shuttle needs to be somewhere ahead of the baseline. Your point of contact has to be really high. 
you need a proper swing, your shoulder should move properly and then the transfer of the body forward and then you move towards the center. In a half smash, the shuttle can be in the baseline, just you need is a whip of your wrist downwards, you angle it and it becomes an aggressive stroke for you. So if you're watching this video, please like, share and comment and keep having more of badminton only on PNB MetLife JBC Bootcamp.